Hi, I'm Chaz Draycott and I'm here at Misano for the final of the 2021 European Truck Racing Championship. Normally I'd be up over there in the commentary box, but I'm in front of the camera today. But don't you worry, Christina will be back with you tomorrow. However, the main thing is we have a fantastic championship fight on our hands and this man here, Norbert Kish, is looking to wrap up the title this weekend. It's looking quite easy for him at the moment, but everybody in the paddock is going to try and do everything they can to try and stop him. The results have come in for you this year, Norby. It's it's a bit gloves off for this weekend, would you say, to just enjoy it, or are you focusing now, of course, on the drivers' title more than that? Yeah, of course, the drivers is uh, is also very important, and yeah, we are we are not there yet. It's it's very close, but we are not there yet. So uh, yeah, tomorrow we will have to be very very concentrated and and uh, not to make mistakes. Hello and warm welcome here from Misano. We're in Italy and it's the final episode of the FIA European Truck Racing Championship. Who will be the best driver of you? Norbert Kisch is the leader of the pack currently, followed by Sasha Lenz and Adam Latsko. And of course the rest of the pack trying to find their best position. And now it's ready for race one here at Misano, the first race of this final weekend. Let's talk about the very important thing, of course, the race. And first of all, the question, P7, I talked to Sasha Lenz, he said we, he, he misses you up there in front. What happened? We don't know. On the first uh, free practice and second free practice, we are very fast. But when it's the temperature go higher and higher, little bit, uh, it's like with uh, Harry Potter stick, something happened and we don't know what, and we are seven. We got our final race weekend of the season underway in a very usual fashion with Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz on the front row of the grid. But everybody piling in behind them would try to do their best to stop Norby being able to take the championship in the first race of the day. And straight off the bat, Sasha Lenz showed us all exactly what his intentions were. Outbreaking Norbert into turn one, he lost a bit of the overlap into turn two but very quickly he would snatch it back again through the first chicane, the number 30 truck going into the lead very early on. A little bit further back, René Reiner had had a lot of contact and was smoking like mad with all of the bodywork flapping around and hitting the tyres. And he would have to start holding off some of the drivers in the Goodyear Cup, Stefan Fass involved with Theo Calvé and Shane Brayton, the two drivers that were going for the title this weekend. With yellow flags out after Jamie Anderson came off the road, 
there was a big turning point in the race. Norbert Kish overtaking Sasha Lenz down the inside in what were officially yellow flag conditions. He carried on at the front though, but was given a five second penalty for overtaking under yellows. So he would now need to make sure he could at least get five seconds ahead of this man, Jochen Hahn, to still clinch the title. Sasha Lenz was trying everything he could to get back past Norbert Kish, but eventually he would open up the gap. Putting his foot down and knowing exactly what the task was, he started to streak away at the front of the field. That wasn't before a couple of laps though, where Sasha kept him honest, but it ultimately in the end he would go on to clinch the race win on the road at least. Behind it was Jochen Hahn and Albertetti trying to catch up, but behind all of that, the battle for the Goodyear Cup title was very, very hot under the collar. Shane Brayton and Teo Calve making multiple bits of contact, but hitting the wall was Antonio Albertetti. Ultimately though, Norbert Kish would finish first on the road, and after a five second penalty would be second, which would be enough to give him the championship, and he would be the overall 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Champion. Congratulations, Norbert Kisch, this year's FIA European Truck Racing Champion. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of the team. And, uh, and the last two years, I think what we achieved is, uh, is outstanding. So yeah, I'm, I'm really proud and really thankful for the team. Because, you know, without them, this would not be possible. So yeah, I'm really happy that we have the team championship as well. And... Uh, and uh, and overall, you know, for the drivers champions as well, it's, uh, I'm just so happy and, uh, uh, you know, I, it's hard to say, it's a little bit hard to believe that, that we are here again, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Norbert Kish, very emotional after a fantastic championship campaign, comes to an end, but still with three races to go. Lenz takes the win on the road with Norbert Kish and Jochen Hahn behind. Steffi Halm in fourth ahead of Adam Latchko and Anthony Janiek. René Reiner means that we have trucks 44, 55, 66 and 77 in their respective positions. Theo Calvey finishes in eighth place overall just ahead of Shane Brayton. And Lucas Hahn, after a great day, gets a top 10 finish overall. He was fourth in the original qualifying, then eighth in the Super Bowl, and he eventually managed to get a top 10 in the overall field. Fantastic progression and fantastic commitment from the younger of the two Hans in the race. Alia Kolok was classified 11th ahead of Stefan Fars and Antonio Abathetti, with Jamie Anderson and Andre Kurzim not classified at the end. It would be interesting to see how those guys could turn it around though in race two later on in the day. the Goodyear Cup. We've got a battle of two. We've got Shane Brereton in the lead and followed by Theo Calvé.
race two, which means we've got a reverse grid and it's Theo Calvé in the lead, standing on pole position. After a very entertaining first race where we saw our overall champion crowned, it was time for the reverse grid and it was Theo Calvé and René Reiner on the front row to really show us the fireworks. The Frenchman trying to overcome a gap to Shane Brereton in the Goodyear Cup and René Reiner trying to claw some points back to go higher up in the championship ahead of Anthony Janiek. It was Lachko that got a fantastic start from the second row of the grid trying to go around the outside of Reiner and Calvé. Teo tiptoed his way into turns one and two. Reiner initially taking the advantage in the first couple of corners. Calvé managed to get back in front though and suddenly there was a humongous train behind the first three. Everybody in the field was sticking very close together until Teo Calvé started to make a slight breakaway ahead of Reiner and Hahn. In the middle of the field, Adam Lachko made his way past Anthony Janiak and Norbert Kish was picking them off one by one, taking advantage of all the moves happening in front of him. Stefan Fass getting a good view of the action from our rear-facing camera further down the order. Eventually, Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kish would be the ones closing in on race leader Calvé, and it wasn't too long before Jochen managed to make the move at the latter part of the lap as they headed into the sunset at the end of the day. It was still very close racing down the straight though as Teo wanted to make sure there was nothing that Han could do to make his life easier. Eventually though there was a huge queue of trucks started by Norbert Kish, Adam Lachko and Sasha Lenz all climbing around behind Teo Calvé's Freightliner. The young Frenchman doing a fantastic job at holding them off but how long could he do it for? Norbert Kish would certainly test his patience. There was bodywork flying and contact aplenty. Norbert throwing everything that he could at the big era machine. At one point, it looked like Norbert was going to get it done at turn two, but Teo stood his ground time after time and made sure that he was on the inside when it mattered. Adam Lachko trying to get involved and help his teammate out, but ultimately nobody could stop Jochen Hahn from taking his third win of the season after a tough championship. It was great to see him back on the top step and congratulated by everyone in the paddock and, of course, his very loyal team and very loyal family. Christina caught up with him, though, right after the race. Congratulations, you won this race, a tough race of course, but the last rounds, I thought you were, I don't know, reading your newspaper, it was, it seems, from the outset, it seems so smooth, I know it's completely different when you're driving the truck, how was it for you? Yeah, you know, race, it's race, it's not, it's not uh, easy to do, but in the end, I'm very happy to be, stay in Misano with a, a win in the, ah, nearly the last day in the season, so, yeah, we are still back on the winning route, and it, it's, it feels good, so and from this side, I'm very happy we found the way back. And found the way back, he certainly did. Jochen Hahn, like I said, taking his third win of the season, tasting the champagne and enjoying the podium with Kish and Calvé. Your race result then, Jochen Hahn wins by just over five seconds from Theo Calvé. Norbert Kish rounds out the podium ahead of championship rival Sasha Lenz. Adam Lachko finished in fifth place ahead of a fantastic drive by Jamie Anderson who started 14th on the grid. Albertetti was seventh ahead of Shane Brereton with Stefan Fass and Lucas Hahn who got another top 10 for his troubles this afternoon. Alia Kolok was once again in 11th place with Anthony Janiak just behind. Steffi Halm retired with a puncture and Rennie Reiner unfortunately was five laps down. But now it's time for the final day of the season and we'll be back tomorrow for two more races. So Shane Brereton, you already got one hand, I would say, on the trophy, but there's still a lot of things to do tomorrow, of course. 21 points ahead. What do you think about the yeah, perspective? 
Um, we've just had to play it safe. I had a good battle with Teo earlier, um, but it started to get a bit more contact, so I thought best let him go. I didn't want to risk a non-finish, and I had the same really then with Jamie. So sometimes you've got to concede to make sure you finish. We headed into the very final race day of the season with a very familiar front row once again, Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz leading the way. They had Jochen Hahn and Adam Lachko behind them on row two. Antonio Albacete and Lucas Hahn, a real star this weekend on row three. But the action early on was between Kurzim, Calve, Fass, and just about everybody else. Big contact in the straight line as they all punched up after a slow start for some. Kurzim would receive quite a bit of damage and have a puncture and eventually retire with the left rear going down. Teo Calvey and Shane Brayton made sure that they had their championship fight on the track, but up at the very front, it was Norbert Kish getting away from Jochen Hahn. Everybody else trying to stay with them. Albatetti leading Lucas Hahn, Adam Lachko for just behind. Kurzin would only last a couple more laps, though, as the tyre going down was becoming very, very clear to him. But then the championship fight for the Goodyear Cup got even more interesting. Teo Calvey, also with damage and a puncture, could not hold off Shane Brayton any longer. The number 17 TOR truck racing team driver managing to get through before Teo realised his race and his championship were done. Shane managed to open up quite a gap to the drivers behind as well, meaning he was in clear air all the way to the end of the race. The battle started behind though as Stefan Fass got the better of Elia Kolok after a great two lap scrap side by side. He eventually got a little bit of clean air between himself and Elia, who had to then defend from Ryan Smith, just behind. Norbert Kish had his usual clean air at the front of the field, though, leading from Hahn. The other Hahn, Lucas, was having to defend from Sasha Lenz, though. He was gradually catching up and tried time and time again to get through. The trio in the middle of the field was Janiek, Reiner and Steffi Halm, who had a good fight in the couple of laps towards the end. Bodywork a plenty going flying and even completely missing in the case of Rene Reiner's truck. But ultimately, Norbert Kish would take another win on his excellent tally this season. His 11th win of the season, going very far to show how dominant he's been. But it was Shane Brayton that took the Goodyear Cup Championship title, finishing in 10th place overall. Second place in the Goodyear Cup in this race gave him enough points to claim that title. Norbert Keish very happy again, Albathetti happy with the podium, and then Shane Brayton spoke to Christina on his championship after the race. Congratulations, uh, you won the Goodyear Cup, uh, first reaction. Oh, I'm really pleased, glad to get that one out of the way. Yeah, really am. I had a cracking start, some nice clean air, and then no one really judged herself going into the corners, and it was just a bit of a mass pile up. You had to just find a gap, really, and I managed to find a gap, stay out of their way, let them carry on fighting, and then just carry on. And now you've got to celebrate with the team. Congratulations, Shane. Yeah, and hopefully enjoy the last race. Absolutely. A very, very happy TOR truck racing team on Shane Brayton's Goodyear Cup title and a maiden Goodyear Cup win for Lucas Hahn in what was a very entertaining afternoon's racing. Kish takes the win from Jochen Hahn with Albathetti in third, a very familiar podium. Lucas Hahn fourth overall, an excellent result for him ahead of Sasha Lenz. Adam Lachko is in sixth with Anthony Janiak in seventh. Rennie Reiner and Steffi Halm couldn't do enough to get past him and your Goodyear Cup champion Shane Brayton rounded out the top ten. Stefan Fass ended up eleventh with Elia Kolok just behind, holding off Ryan Smith to the end. Jamie Anderson, Andre Kurzim and Theo Calvey were not classified. But with one more race to go this season, we look forward to the afternoon's fourth and final race, round 24. We've got two trophies here, the Hahn family, and you've been soaked by your son a bit from Champagne. You saw the picture? Yeah, yes. It, you know, we enjoy every time to stay on the podium, and we stay together on the podium, nearly together, and 
This is a perfect moment for the family. Before you knew it, it was time to end the season. The final race of the year got underway with Steffi Halm and René Reiner on the front row. Anthony Janiak being put to the back of the grid after one of the mechanics messed with the truck in Park Ferme. Steffi Halm was hoping to get a podium, same too with René Reiner after he hadn't secured one all year. Janiak headed for the pit lane at the very beginning, but everybody got things underway with feisty racing from the off. Stefan Fass here clipping Shane Brayton as they go three wide with Norbert Kish through turn two. Sasha Lenz took the lead early on, with everybody piling in behind. A bit of contact with Steffi Halm and Adam Latchko. But there was more contact further back as Ryan Smith outbroke himself, made big contact with Theo Calve, and the pair of them would be out of the race for good. Calve able to recover the truck from turn eight and make his way back around the track. Further up, there was a humongous snake of trucks making their way around the final corners. This here, the view from Norbert Kish chasing down Jochen Hahn. Very close racing, as you see everybody following on from one another. But after this earlier contact between Shane Brayton and Stefan Fass, a later incident would see Brayton off the road. He would then try to recover and rejoin the circuit, but clipped the side of Stefan Fass, who went on one hell of a wild ride. Stefan would unbelievably go to recover and even get onto the Goodyear Cup podium as Shane was given a 10 second penalty. Norbert Kish managed to chase down Jochen Hahn, eventually gaining places on him, Albertetti and Steffi Halm. Shane Brayton, suffering from a bit of damage, would start to chuck out plumes of smoke towards the end of the race. The Goodyear Cup champion having a bit of a tough time. But before you knew it, Alia Kolok outdid them all with the biggest smoke screen of the weekend. Her engine letting go and unfortunately bringing out the red flag, ending the weekend and the championship one lap prematurely. Ali was perfectly fine and the truck was recovered, but it meant that Sasha Lenz was declared as the race winner and he celebrated very, very well with his team. A great way to round out his season. Let's remember this last season was cancelled, uh, shortened due to pandemic and now finally oh, everyone is able to celebrate. How is it? So the Covid pandemic was a real challenge for us. I have to admit, all the sponsors had our back and everyone tried to help us out. I'm very thankful for that. I'm very grateful to be the Vice European Champion this year and I'm really happy that we made it. Sasha Lenz very emotional there at the end of the weekend, but a very well-deserved podium for him, René Reiner and Steffi Halm. An old German podium, an MAN and two Ivicos along the way. Antonio Albertetti classified ahead of Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kisch in the end. Adam Lachko is seventh, with Lucas Hahn completing another Goodyear Cup win. A fantastic weekend for him. Jamie Anderson is ninth ahead of Stefan Fass after Shane Brayton's penalty. Shane Brayton takes the Goodyear Cup championship win after a tough final race with Alia Kolok being classified 30 seconds down and Andre Kurzim being classified in 13th place. But that is all from the 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Championship. It's been an amazing year, a really amazing experience for me, and I hope to see you all next year. That was it, the 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Championship season. Thank you all for watching. A huge thanks to all the mechanics, the teams, the drivers, and of course the spectators, and all the cameramans and the women, and everybody working so hard to get this program on the grid. So thank you very much, and see you next year. <laughs>